There's quite a bit to be afraid of these days. The imminent dangers of climate change, the possibility of nuclear warfare, and the fact that big, scary clowns are once again being featured on the big screen. But nothing scares all of humankind quite like the possibility of being buried alive. And understandably so. Just imagine how scary it would be to wake up in a dark, cold, and hollow coffin so deep into the earth no one would be able to hear you in there. Plus, there's most likely no service down there. But while taphophobia is today considered to be one of the most irrational fears, a quick look into history illustrates that way back when, being buried prematurely was a reality for some unfortunate souls. Oh yeah, this fear dates way back to the 19th century, way past that infamous scene in Kill Bill Volume 2. In this video, we not only highlight those who've been buried alive and lived to tell the tale, but also the quirky and, frankly, spooky history of when this has happened. But before we get chatting about these grave mistakes, see what we did there? Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. Now, back to the scary stuff. Turns out, the likelihood of someone getting buried alive is so unlikely that there isn't even an official statistic that measures how many people a year get buried alive. That's the good news. The bad news is that this very much used to happen. Historians date the first case of a living person being buried alive to Imperial China and the Roman Empire as methods of execution. But this business really started to get out of hand in the 19th century due to a lack of comprehensive medical procedures and, frankly, poor judgment. In 1886, the New York Times wrote an article on a disturbing case in which the body of a man named Jenkins was found turned over inside his coffin with his hair pulled out. And to top it all off, the inside of his coffin was covered in scratch marks, implying that this man spent the last few moments of his life alive in his coffin. In fact, this fear preoccupied so many people that author Edgar Allan Poe wrote legends and spooky short stories on being buried alive, which certainly did not help the public's consciousness. Of course, there are many reasons to fear being buried alive potentially suffering from hypothermia, starvation, and dehydration, not to mention one heck of a panic attack, is not the ideal way to go. This is why inventors created a number of special coffins that notify people above ground if someone was at risk of suffering an early or premature death. Take patent number 81,437. If someone ever found themselves in an early coffin, they could pull a string that would ring a bell hopefully notifying others that you aren't actually dead. Even though the odds of being buried alive today is highly unlikely, inventors are still inventing wacky coffins to alert the outside world if something has gone terribly wrong. You know, just in case. For instance, the 2010 patent for the Apparatus and Method for Generating Post-Burial Audio Communications in a Burial Casket, which, in a way, offers the living dead a chance to keep up with the Kardashians. As for those who've been buried alive, you have the escapologists and magicians of the world who channel everyone's greatest fear into a performance act. Most famously, Harry Houdini tried three variations of this stunt. In the first, he insisted on being buried without a coffin, which nearly cost him his life. In his second attempt, Houdini remained in the ground for one hour and 11 minutes before successfully escaping. Unfortunately, he did not live long enough to realize his third attempt. And it's too bad. We feel like he was just starting to get the hang of it, too. Then, there's Anthony Britton. This escapologist became very famous after his performance at the, wait for it, Buried Alive Festival nearly missed the mark. After nine minutes into his act, an emergency crew had to dig him up. Shackled in cuffs and buried without a casket, Britton was the third person to attempt the Houdini-inspired routine in 100 years. And then, there's Mike Meany an Irish bartender who had himself buried as a stunt stayed underground for 61 days without dying or, frankly, going insane. His trick? He carved a hole and attached a large tube to his coffin that would reach the surface so that his friends could send him food and water. But did any of these daring fellows take home the official Guinness World Record? The answer is no. In fact, the organization won't recognize the record because it is so life-threatening. Trust us, this is no cinnamon challenge. While there are those who, for some reason, wish to be horizontal with worms, not everyone who's been buried alive is looking to put on an act of a lifetime. Oh, it's true. There were far more cases in the 19th century than there are today of this happening because doctors did not have the same medical understanding, procedures, and practices. So, while you're hoping to go down for a long nap so deep that not even a convoy of sirens could wake you up, just remember that not too long ago, 
That got some people in meters of trouble. We know the world can be a scary place, but that's no reason to sleep the whole thing off. Just remember, those murderous creepy clowns are just on the big screen. Uh, right?